do you ever do you ever run into them Robin Kristen are they in your life in any I way I do I do like actually strange enough I ended up I went to Rob's birthday party recently Aww. Catherine Hardwick the director of the first Twilight film is opening up about crashing Robert Pattinson's 37th birthday back in May and she wasn't the only one Kristen crashed it too oh. <laughs> as Catherine reveals during the November 20th episode of the happy sad confused podcast Edward Cullen's celebration was also attended, or crashed, by none other than Bella Swan herself, Robert's in real life ex-girlfriend, Kristen Stewart. We all <laughs> hugged each other. It's like, this is so crazy and cool. Elsewhere in the convo, Catherine dishes on the massive opening of the 2008 film and how Robert and Kristen's lives, much like those of Edward and Bella, changed forever. Specifically, the director recalls an event they went to during the Rome Film Festival. They were just going to show a little teaser and we were going to, uh, like a trailer for the movie, and we were going to go to a bookstore and do a signing. And so we didn't have any security, never, nobody thought about anything. We go to the bookstore and there's like a line, like around three blocks. We're like, whoa, we didn't even have time to, you know, finish signing everything. So we had to leave. That made some people mad. Catherine, Kristen, and Rob had to push through a massive crowd to escape. We got mobbed, literally like a thousand people trying to crush us. And I'm about the same you know, almost like a little bit in Christian, but I'm like trying to yeah. bodyguard Chris. I like try to jump in front of her to save her. Rob was trying to get the door. We finally get into the van, pull each other in and then try to drive. We couldn't even drive. And suddenly went, okay, this is not just a little movie. No. These people are going nuts. And now we had, after that, we had to have security guards and everything. That's when we knew, okay, this is big. In fact, Stephanie Meyer's book to movie adaptation would go on to become massive with its five films earning over $3 billion at the box office in total.